and we're back. Um, it's still wet outside, so uh, we're gonna continue working on the marimba. Um, my new wood came in, and uh, I just got a splinter. Alright, so I was holding this wood, and uh, it decided to slide through my hand a bit, and I got a uh, splinter, and now it's uh, stuck in there, so I'll see you in a second. So as I was saying, um, my wood came, and uh, so I'm going to hope to finish the rest of the first octave today. Um, I'm going to try and turn them into, turn what I have into real bars today. Also something I've uh, discovered with Hadouk, the wood that I'm using for the bars, um, is that uh, if you're ever choosing a piece, try and get a grain as straight as possible because all the pieces that I've had have not warped or anything except for that one from last video. And uh, the new piece that came in also has a curvy grain instead of a straight one. And uh, even after sitting on a flat surface, um, it still has managed to kink and twist a little bit. So um, I'm going to use the straight one first again. Um, and then I'll see if I can still use the other piece for what have you. Alright, so I have my rectangles drawn out. Um, I'm going to finish gluing all the rest of the pieces I have. And while the glue is drying, I'm going to be cutting out the material from these and hopefully the glue will be finished by the time I'm finished cutting these out. And then I'll be ready to actually finish these and turn them into what hopefully looks like real bars. Alright, now that I have my one whole octave cut out, uh, I'm going to start grinding down on the glued pieces while the unglued pieces get glued. And uh, I'll just keep working my way down. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone back and forth between the belt sander, the bandsaw, miter saw, the electric planer, and I've made a nice flat reference point on one side of each bar. And then I'm going to cut them down to size on the other side. And then uh, I'll be ready for actually creating the arc. Okay, so um, I have all of these rectangles um, trimmed down to final size. All that's left to do is carve out the arc and uh, bring the faces up to like, I don't know, a high grit. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, after the arc is in and the faces are polished, um, the final steps will be to drill a hole around the node. The node is where a rope basically holds these, suspends them in the air over a resonator. Uh, I'll get to that later. But right now I'm carving in the arc, then I'm gonna polish the faces, drill the hole for the nodes, and um, I'll call it a day after that. So the reason that I haven't just completely been relying on the electric planer this whole time is because of this. It is very easy to uh, mess it up. So this is my bottom C bar. I'm going to have to restart it now because I uh, took too much off of one side. I just wasn't paying attention. So. Luckily, I have plenty right here, 
So uh, it's not the end of the world, but just a small setback of today. I'm going to keep going with these ones. I'll worry about this later. <clears throat> okay, so I finally decided to get over my laziness and uh, dig up the table saw from the corner of the garage. And uh, hopefully it'll work a little better than the band saw and hopefully be a little harder to mess up with the electric planer. So uh, here we go. Hopefully we have a sharp blade here. Um, that's that. So I've trimmed down all of these to the proper thickness. Um, so now, I lied, now I'm finally ready to put the arc in on um, these six. That one is still messed up, I'll leave that for later. But with the scrap that I had from cutting these, I was able to use as the extra meat for the rest of the octave, so I luckily don't have to order even more wood than I thought I was going to. So I have the next bar gluing up right now, and while these are gluing up, I'm going to finally be carving the arc into the bars. I lied again. Um, all these I decided to completely sand and polish first before I uh, put arcs in them because I figured it'd be easier to um, I figured it'd be easier to sand them when there's no arc and it's not super thin in the middle. So that's what I spent the last while doing. Um, next episode we'll finally be able to finish the first octave hopefully 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 um and then we'll be able to move on to uh the next one until we finally finish this thing um again i've did a lot more than i thought i would um i look like simba um so yeah, that's what I have for you today. It's finally getting sunny out, so I'm going to start working on the vice again. I'll see you next time.